Although a significant number of rural communities have benefited from the country's rural electrification program since independence, some are still in darkness as the country continues to roll out these programs to benefit all. Mines and Energy Minister Obeth Kanjode visited the Zambezi region to share information with the communities on the activities of his ministry that are related to implementing goals set out in the Harambe Prosperity Plan. He also visited the Mayuni Senior Secondary School and the Muyako Combined School, which were the first schools in the region to have been electrified this year. Kanjo, they also conducted meetings with the regional leadership and communities to discuss the energy needs and promise to link up those schools that are not going to benefit to some mining companies for assistance. This is what we at the Ministry of Mines and Energy have decided to do, that we have to visit regions to understand what are the energy projects, what are the mining projects, what do people need to know, what does Harambe actually proclaim people and how do we play a part in bringing that education. Ganjo, they promised that more consultations will be conducted in future to reach all for the government to best understand and appreciate the needs of the communities in the region. The protest issue is primary rural electrification and we've dealt with most of that but some of the meetings did not conclude desirably because of the pressure of time. Apart from rural communities, even those living in the informal settlements at Katima Mulilo still don't have access to electricity.